Here we are solving another uh, linear second order uh, homogeneous differential equation. Uh, this one's going to be a little bit different. Uh, this one's actually going to involve the quadratic formula that you learned way, way back in algebra. Um, you'll see what I mean here in a second. So let's bring this down into y double prime plus 2y prime plus 8y is equal to 0. And then we'll bring this down to the characteristic equation, which will be uh, r squared plus 2r plus 8 is equal to 0. Okay, here we normally would uh, would factor something out, r plus whatever, r minus whatever. Um, this isn't going to work here. Um, we're going to have to use the uh, quadratic formula to, to figure this out. Um, in case you don't remember, I'm going to go ahead and post this. It's the quadratic formula is minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac and that's all over 2a. Alrighty. Pan away here. So um, this is going to be b. Uh, we can count 1 as being a and 8 is c. So let's go ahead and plug this in. So this is going to be negative 2 plus or minus um, the square root of 2 squared minus 4 times 1 times 8. And this is all going to be over 2 times 1, uh, 2 times a. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and try to simplify this. So next we'll get uh, opposite negative 2 uh, plus or minus 4 minus 32 over 2. Okay, we'll simplify this a little bit further. We'll get n minus 2 plus or minus negative 28 over 2. Okay, and now we want to make this positive again. So, um, arrow over, minus 2 plus or minus, and that's going to be i. We'll bring that up front. And that's going to be 7 times 4. So we can cancel that out and bring, bring that out here. Um, so that'll be uh, minus 2 plus or minus um, 2i times the square root of 7, and that's all over 2. Okay, so now we can simplify this out and that out, get rid of the, t the 2's here. So now we have minus 1 plus or minus i times the square root of 7. Alright, and so this is equal to r. And this is, this is what we want, this is the general formula right there. Okay, and now we will plug um, <coughs> plug our numbers in here and get the uh, the y of h or the other the general solution for this whole problem. Alrighty, so we're going to get y is equal to c1 e to the minus t times cosine of the square root of seven t plus c2 e to the negative t uh, and that's sine square root of 7 t and this is all t because right here and here and there and there because this is a respect to t now the reason we have cosine and sine is from the last video um, it's because of this i the i I'm not going to go through the proof of why this is but i is always produce this so you'll you always get something with a cosine something with a sine and then uh, this piece right here will always end up going in here okay so this this i7 will end up being cosine square root of 7 times the variable and then this part out here will be the reason why we have this section right here so it'll be c1 e to the negative t well this right here you can count as e to the negative 1t and we can bring that over again so it's um, c2 uh, times e to the negative 1t over here as well um, so that's sort of sort of why we get the answer we do but this is this is our general solution